Hi everyone, welcome back to Hygiene and You. Again, I'm making a video after a very long time. I think it's been around three to four weeks that I haven't uploaded a new video. And that is because I broke my wrist and it was uh, pretty bad. I had to get a surgery done to get a plate inserted. I'm feeling much better now and the whole time when I broke my wrist I was thinking that oh my god I'm going to get my period in a few weeks and uh, what am I going to do? I was under this dilemma if uh, I should use menstrual cups or cloth pads because I will not be able to use both my hands as efficiently. Uh, fortunately I got my period three weeks after I had this so um, I was in a much better state at least I was able to move my fingers a lot and so I was not in a lot of pain either and um, yeah so I got my periods few days ago and I decided to give menstrual cups a try because I had asked a few people and uh, they said they have used menstrual cup with just one hand and luckily my right hand was uh, totally fine and I also thought that washing cloth pads would be difficult with one hand like squeezing out all the blood and stuff might be a little difficult also, I tried, uh, before I got my period, I tried to, you know, uh, put a cloth pad on my underwear, but it was really difficult to, you know, uh, close the snap buttons with just one hand. And I tried uh, folding the cups with one hand. I thought that was a much easier task to do. So, uh, I got my period a few days ago. I uh, tried it. Recently, I have uh, been using Soch and Juju cups. They've uh, worked out really well. Both of them are uh, my Goldilocks cups and uh, those are the cups I've been using for the last 7-8 uh, months. And uh, I decided that I will just not experiment and I'll stick with these two cups that work really well for me. So, uh, before actually uh, inserting, I got both these cups and I wanted to see which one can I uh, use better with just one hand. With the Juju cup, although it's my favorite, it uh, opens up very easily, it works really well, doesn't leak. Um, when I tried to just fold it with one hand, I just could not do it because it's, it's, it is a firm cup of medium hardness. But just every time I'll fold it and even, you know, take it, try to insert, it will just pop open in my hand. I was just not able to, you know, keep it folded like, I see, I just can't do it with one hand. The moment I try to fold it anymore, it just pops open in my hand. Whereas uh, with Soch Cup, it's a lot softer as we compare it with the Juju Cup. So I was able to fold it with just one hand. And luckily, just because I have this hand free, I just did this support which helped a little bit. It was not required, like even without that, you can do it. Uh, I was able to fold it and keep it like this for as long as I wanted, you know, like as opposed to Juju Cup, which would just pop open in just a few seconds of me folding it. So cup, uh, because it's a lot softer and a very flexible material, I was able to keep it folded like this. And uh, then uh, I just had to insert it and it would pop open and if it did not, I had to just pinch the base to let it open. And that's what we do for all the cups. So one hand was enough. I did use this just to for a, a very light support of uh, you know folding it like this. But um, you can still do it just with one hand like this without that actual support even if uh, this hand was not usable at all. Recently again I have heard a lot of people that uh, with soft cups they tried everything but once they insert it just does not open. Two three things that work really well for me and uh, I'd like to know if these tips help you as well or not. So, uh, first thing is that whenever you are folding the cup, fold it exactly where the air hole is so that there is space for air to enter the cup and that allows it to open. So, this is where the hole is. So, you fold it right here. Right? And yeah, so that's folded. Second thing is uh, before inserting, you can run it, run it under cold water instead of hot water. That makes the cup a little firmer and uh, hot water will make it even softer and making it tougher to open. And third thing, which is my favorite, which always works for me, and uh, I would definitely like to know if it works for you or not, is that uh, when we insert the cup, uh, so we fold it like this, and we always insert it like this in this direction, so your cup is, uh, sorry, this uh, fold is pointing upwards. And what I do is I rotate it completely, so the fold is uh, like this, downwards. And then I insert 
and it just pops open in a second i really don't have to do anything at all for me this has been very 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 helpful it's so easy just literally not even a second and the cup just pops open on its own and uh, i think the reason behind that is that when we are folding it this way and inserting the pubic bone I might be stopping it from popping it open because pubic bone is right there but when we have it in this direction and when we insert it like this uh, the fold is away from the pubic bone and there is probably more room for the cup to pop open so do give this a try um, main aim of this video was just to give you an update that i had a broken wrist and that's why i was not able to do a lot of videos in the last few weeks second that uh, you can easily use a menstrual cup with one hand i will reiterate the term easily uh, it did take me a few seconds to figure out how to use it because i always you know use uh, both hands while using the cup and figuring out where i need to insert it it's just about habit i think that you know because i was so tuned to using both hands so it did take me like a few seconds to figure out okay how to insert where to insert because i had to do all of that just with one hand but it definitely was not tough and uh, very doable and i've done so far 3 uh, days of using this uh, cup with just one hand even removing and washing the cup was uh, not tough at all um and i realized that while removing i think anyways i always used to just use one hand uh, two hands are not really needed you just need to locate the cup pinch it with this one hand and take it out uh rinsing run uh, you know turn the tap on and put this under the tap and uh, with just one hand i was able to rub and clean it very efficiently there was uh, no blood left at all and i insert and of course i am still using the cup so this is just a sample cup the one i'm using is the larger size and it's without the stem that's the one uh, i use and works uh, very well for me so i hope these tips are helpful and uh, well i hope you don't need to use cup with just one hand but if you really do then it's possible it's doable it's hygienic and i think it's a much better option than any other uh, menstrual product